Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure your router to accept your modem behind NAT. So this is a normal setup in a normal case where the router from the internet provider handle everything. You have the fiber cable from your provider go to your modem and then it will add as a router. So right here we have an IP address of 192.168.1.1 and then your PC will have an IP address of 192.168.1.20 now you buy a new router, uh, let's say an OpenWRT router to handle the PPOE connection or the DSCP client connection and in this case this modem will be converted into the bridge mode which means it will only convert the fiber uh, signal to the electronic signal or something like that and then the modem is still on 192.168.1.1 but your OpenWRT routers will be 192.168.3.1 and here is your PC so from here you are going to establish the PPOE connection directly to your internet service provider here okay from here and then to here so you can see that there is no way that your PC can reach this modem so we will need to configure something else to enable the connection from this PC to this modem. All right. And this is called assess your modem behind NAT. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. All right. So now we will need to log into our routers, which is 192.168.3.1. And all right. So this is our connection and you can see that the one is PPOE and is running on let's see it is running on VLAN 35 of Ethernet 0 the LAN IP right now is let's see 192.168.3.1 so right now if I try to ping 192.168.1.1 it will not be reachable okay but we are going to enable that so first go to the network interfaces and add a new interface and this one I will put it maybe modem on the protocol it will be static IP address and the device so right here we can see that the one port is Ethernet zeros and I have uh, VLAN 35 for PPOE connection and VLAN 2502 for IPTV so Yes, the Ethernet zero will be the adapter that we are going to create the interface. Okay, hit create interface. And for the IPv4 address, I need to specify an IPv4 address, which is in the same subnet with my modem. Okay, if we go over here, we can see that the modem is having an IP address of 192.168.1.1. So our network interface should be 192.168.1, maybe .5. So let's do that. All right, very good. The next match is will be 255.255.255.0. And that's it. Make sure you select it to the one firewall zone. And that's it. Save. And now, save and apply. So basically that's all. After the interface is up, you will be able to connect to your modem. So let's do that. Ping 192.168.1.1 and we can see that the connection is up. Okay. So let's give it a try. 192.168.1.1 Alright, very good. This is my modem and actually this one is one of the Gpon XFP module so we can see that it has been up and running for 170 days which is very good and right here I can see my Gpon status and thing like that alright so this is just a short video to show you how to accept your modem or your optical converter or something behind that 
Thanks for watching and see you all.